Hi folks, I'm Emmanuel, co-founder of Sematic. Sematic is an open source development framework for machine learning and data science. Sematic lets you define end-to-end -end pipelines of arbitrary steps using only Python. No YAML, no special DSL, just Python. When you run your pipelines, Sematic tracks and versions for you all your assets and artifacts and lets you visualize them in a beautiful UI. As you're iterating on your work, Sematic lets you share insights and comments with your team to keep the conversation close to the data context. All right, let's give it a try. I'm gonna switch to my console here and I'm going to pip install Sematic. All right, and now I'm going to do, I move this over here and I'm going to do Sematic start. All right, this is the landing page of the UI and I'm going to switch to my list of pipeline. These are my most recent pipelines and I am I can take a look at them and I can see the status of the last five executions here. So let's take a look at this liver disease prediction pipeline. All right, here are the outputs of my pipeline, some plots, some classification reports, some metrics, a PR curve and so on. So I can take a look at the execution graph of this pipeline. Here it is. So I'm loading some data, uh, doing some cleanup, some pre-processing, and a couple of training jobs. I have my XGBoost uh, training job here and a logistic regression. Now let's take a look at some of those functions. So I'm gonna click on load data here, and here I have the inputs, which was a CSV file, and the output, which is a data frame. And I can take a look at a preview of the data frame in here, and I also can take a look at the source code for this function. As you can see, this Python step was just a very simple Python function. The only difference is that I decorated it with at semantic.func. All right, I can take a look at all of the output of all each of those steps, and go through all of these. All right, now, uh, Semantic comes with a number of prepackaged examples, so I'm going to rerun this particular example. Semantic run examples slash liver cirrhosis. All right, it's running, and the UI is letting me know that a new run is available, so let's take a look at the new run. And as you can see, the graph is progressing. It's currently doing my logistic regression. And uh, all right, now it's doing my, my output. And there it is, it's, it's done. I can take a look at the outputs, which are obviously the same as before. Now, let me show you how this pipeline was defined in code. Let me bring in here uh, my VS Code editor. And there it is. All right, this function here is basically the entire definition of my pipeline. Uh, as you can see, the only difference between a native uh, function and a semantic function is that I have only decorated it with a semantic func decorator. Uh, so here it is, my load data function, doing some cleanup here, some plots, pre-processing, and then doing one training model for the logistic regression and another training model call for XGBoost. Each of those functions are also themselves uh, pipeline steps. So let's take a look at load data here. Uh, as you can see, it's just a very basic function that I've decorated with semantic func. Decorating your function means that it becomes a pipeline step and it becomes visualizable in the UI. All the inputs and outputs are tracked and so on. All right. I'm pretty happy with the results. So I'm going to leave a comment for my team. Good job. Um, Let's try with the new data set. And that's it. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, star us on GitHub, read the docs, get started. And if you want to get in touch, join us on Discord. Thank you so much.